the next element will be considering as a current source okay so just like a voltage source maintains a given voltage between its terminals a current source maintains a given current flowing through it okay this is the symbol for a current source So, and this arrow denotes the direction of the current definition and that will be given by some I naught. Okay. So, since the current is flowing this way by passive sign convention, we define the voltage V across it to be that way. Okay. So, what does a current source do? It maintains a current I equals I naught independently of the voltage across it. Okay. It does not matter what voltage you have between these terminals A and B, a current I equals I naught will be flowing through the current source okay so this is the meaning of it now as before the arrow indicates the direction in which the current is defined okay that current itself could be positive or negative so if uh, i naught happens to be 2 amperes what it means is that 2 amperes flows from a to b through the current source okay and a phi naught is minus 3 amperes what it means is minus 3 amperes flows from a to b it's a to b because the arrow inside is drawn from a to b in this case which is the same as saying 3 amperes flows from B to A. Okay, so all that a current source does is to maintain a flow of current regardless of what voltage is across it. Okay. Now, as with the voltage source, we depict the characteristic of a current source graphically. So let's take a current source of value. 3 amperes and the voltage is defined in this direction according to passive sign convention this is i that is v now it maintains a current regardless of the voltage so the characteristic is a horizontal line when drawn on the iv plane Okay, so it maintains 3 amperes regardless of what voltages across it. And similarly, if in another case this happened to be minus 2 amperes, it will be a horizontal line, but below the x axis where this is minus 2 amperes. Okay, so that is what a current source does, it maintains a flow of current. Okay. Now, there is one uh, uh, subtle point that I want to bring up here. Okay. Technically, it is not correct to, to draw a current source like this without anything connected to it, because let us say I take I equals 3 amperes and if I take this particular node, there is nothing else connected to it and we know that all the currents flowing into a node should obey Kirchhoff's current law. Okay. So, what it really means is that this has to be always connected to something. Okay. This is some circuit and a current will be flowing like this into the circuit. Okay. But of course, it is inconvenient to be uh, drawing an extra circuit each time we draw a current source. We do draw a current source like this without anything connected to it, 
but uh, that's not a complete circuit something has to be connected to the current source okay